How about the running backs? We know there's two left on the list. DeMarco Murray was the rushing leader, but you got beast mode still out there. Uh, Which yeah. one should be ranked higher, Solly? For, for me, it's got to be Marshawn Lynch. I think if you were to talk to most defenders, if you gave them some truth serum and say, do you want to tackle this guy? They would say, not really. Most defensive backs, <laughs> watch, watch how they negotiate. They'll give up another five yards if he, if he agrees to run out of bounds. You see that? They'll all back up, retreat a little bit, act as if the receiver is blocking them. It's almost a negotiation, a business decision when you approach Marshawn Lynch. I think he's the one true runner. I'll put Adrian Peterson in this category as well, but Marshawn Lynch consistently have defenders turn down the opportunity to tackle. I like DeMarco Murray and what he did last year was special, but when you factor in the fact that he had that great offensive line, I mean, there was times he was running 20 yards down the field yeah, and was yeah, untouched. Yeah. I'll take Marshawn Lynch. I'm with you, Solly, because he doesn't just carry the football. He doesn't just carry the offense. He carries the whole team. When you saw that run against the Arizona Cardinals, Beast Quake 2, oh, who was the first person on the field? It was Earl. It was Earl Thomas, and, and it was Cam Chancer. They were the ones that were on the field celebrating and congratulating him. He carries this team. He carries their emotions, and, and that's what you want from your running back, somebody that sparks that energy and that emotion in your entire team. But he is the engine, and when you ask almost any player in the NFL who's the most important player on that offense, it's not Russell Wilson. They say it's Marshawn Don't tell Lynch. that to Russell Wilson's agent. I'm trying well, to get some want, money right now. He don't want to hear that right now. <laughs>